Right, so what is the difference on change here? So we have an example. So Mr. Tang and Ms. Joy share the sum of money in the ratio 2, 3. Each of them spend $12. So why is it difference on change? Now, when we say difference, what does it mean? That means the difference between the two variables. The difference between the two variables. So in this case, why the difference on change? Is because Both of them yeah, each, yeah, each of them spend 12, right? Well, I didn't decide it was in the challenging match. Ah, then you make the difference the same. Can you see that? So you're working here, working, working, make the difference the same. So in this case, the difference is uh, 1 is 2, 1 is 1. So this one must times 2. The first row, you multiply by 2, and then you can do the comparison, okay? That's pretty simple. Right, so let's take a look at the next question. <coughs> oh, yeah. Now, difference and change questions can also manifest itself as an uh, age. Age, huh? they love to use uh, age as a difference and change. Why? Because when two person, like, let's say I say six years later, six years later, both of you will grow up together. Oh, I, I think this question Ah, both of you will grow up together, you see? So your difference between the two is still zero. No, don't right? I do, I do pencil. Both of you are 12, right? Yeah, so the difference is still zero. Oh, uh, 26 days left. Uh, 26 days left. 26. Oh. 26. Uh. Same as uh, so you are 11. I'm not, I'm not even 12 yet. 11 are uh, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, Both are 11. I don't know how many days So the difference is zero. Right? Oh, uh, no, I need yeah. a new calculator. Today is for the 2nd of August, right? Oh my god, it's August already. Oh, the time. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, sample question over here. Right? Let August me, has how many days? 31. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me Wait, do one. Excellent. Okay, let me do one here. I don't think there's any problem with this question. So, Mrs. Bay baked 120 tarts, 4 p for chocolate. Ah, yeah, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> then 59 days until free as Okay. Okay, Mrs. Bay baked 120 tarts, 4 p for chocolate, the rest were strawberry. So, with this, we try to come up with some values first. Chocolate, strawberry. Right, so four fifth were four out of five were chocolate. The rest were strawberry. She gave an equal number of uh, chocolate and strawberry. Uh, we had seven times as many chocolate as strawberry. So uh, four out of five were chocolate. Uh, there's so. something wrong with the sum. Oh, oh that really? is um uh four four unit is cho uh, chocolate then. Mm. One unit is strawberry. No, you can just you can you can. No. You can find the total yeah, number. Yeah, you, you can find like how many chocolate. Yeah, because they are hundred and twenty. Because five units, then you can right. divide by four times five. Four out of five were. Oh, Mister Tang, we can just take hundred and twenty divided by five times. Wait, wait, four out of five of the tarts were chocolate. Yeah, you can right. Yeah. So you but take hundred. Easier to find. Then you don't need to use. Yeah, so what's hundred twenty divided by five? Don't know. Don't care. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Twenty four, right? That's my life motto. Nine. So four feet were chocolate, that means chocolate must be twenty-four times four. Is the answer? I wait lah. Twenty-four <laughs> times four equals to ninety-six. Is the answer twenty-four? Wait. Lah. No, it's not. What? Strawberry must be twenty-four, right? So we do not know how many uh take away, uh. we just know that they take away the same number, right? That's why we can come with a new column called the difference. Because the difference must be unchanged. After that, uh, the answer the, is just twelve. Yes, chocolate oh, yeah, is seven part. part. Here is one part. Okay. Now, what's the difference here? Uh, what's uh, the difference at the beginning? The, the difference at beginning is seventy-two. Correct. But the difference after that is only six. Yeah. So you must ti uh, times times twelve. So you take here, you do divide by 6, I guess. Yeah, and you make the difference the same. So I times 12. Well, you, don't, you don't need to write it there. Uh, in fact, I don't need to do that. Uh, because 6 parts represents 12. That's 72. Huh? Okay. Right? 6 parts represents 72. If I 7 parts, can you actually? 1 part is 12. Huh? So how many cards did she give away? Uh, we can find now since one part is 12 this one part is 12 so you just take 24 minus 12 equals to 12 okay can you see that because this is one part one part is 12 can you see that one part is 12 so 24 minus 12 equals to 12 
So the answer is 12. So do you have harder sums? Yeah, later. These are the concept questions. Yeah, I know, I know. We do the concept question first, huh? Recently in L in LA, right? Mm. And then later, I went to see the Snapchat, and those people were cold. I was like, there's so many people cry. Why, why like, would they cry? I don't know. Okay, okay, can you try, try this one? 